Houston, Mrs. Elio, members of the faculty, parents, and students, welcome to the National Junior Honor Society induction ceremony at Bluffs Middle School. We are gathered here to formally recognize those students who have been selected by the faculty of our school for successfully completing their candidacy and are being inducted as new members of the National Junior Honor Society chapter. For our new members, we hope this will serve to remind you of the standards of excellence you are charged with maintaining as members of the nation's oldest, largest, and most prestigious student recognition program. We are beyond excited to be inducting our new members to, into the Bluffs Middle School chapter, and today's ceremony indicates the continuing emphasis on excellence that we are representing for our school and community. Throughout the year, members of our chapter serve as role models for other students. It is at this time that we proclaim that membership in the Bluffs Middle School chapter of National Junior Honor Society has been earned by these candidates through the effective demonstration of five qualities that serve as standards for the society, which are scholarship, service, leadership, character, and citizenship. Members of the service will now review these qualities for the candidates. Scholarship denotes a commitment to learning. A student is willing to spend hours in reading and study, knowing the lasting benefits of a cultivated mind. We should continue to learn even when formal education is ended, for human education ends only at the end of life. Knowledge is one great element in life which leads to the highest success, and it can be acquired in only one way, through diligence and effort. Learning furnishes the lamp by which we read the past, the torch guiding us to understand the present, and the light that illuminates the future. Candidates have the charge to continually expand their world through opportunities inherent in scholarship. It always seems impossible until it is done, quoted by Nelson Mandela. Service can be established in the routine of the day's work where many opportunities arise to help others, both at school and in the community. A willingness to work for the benefit of those in need without monetary compensation or public recognition is the quality we see in our membership and promote for the entire student body. We are committed to volunteering our time and talents to, to the creation of a better tomorrow. The best way to find yourself is to lead yourself in the service of others. Leadership should exert a wholesome influence on the school. In taking initiative in the classroom and in school activities, the real leader strives to train and aid others to reach their common goals of success. The price of leadership is sacrifice, the willingness to yield one's personal interest for the interests of others. A leader has self-confidence and will go forward when others hesitate. No matter what power and resources may exist in a school, community, or nation, they are ineffectual without the guidance of a wise leader. Leadership is always needed, thus to lead is a meaningful and substantive charge to each of our members. In the words of John C. Maxwell, a leader is one who knows the way, goes the way, and shows the way. Character is the force within the individual that distinguishes each person from others. It creates for each of us individually our goodness. It is that without each one, no one can respect oneself, not hope that attain the respect of others. It is this force of character that guides one through life and once develops, grows steadily within. Character is achieved, not received. It is the product of constant thought and action, merely striving to make the right choice. The problem of character and problem of self-control. We must be in ready to what we wish to appear to others to be in rather than to seem by demonstrating such qualities as respect, responsibility, trustworthiness, fairness, caring, and citizenship so we help to prove by example that we value characters. Character is a real foundation of worthwhile success. By John Plays Amen. Citizenship is the obligations each member of our society faces to live up to the democratic ideas given to us by the founders of our country. 
the responsibilities each of us has to our home community, our state, our nation, and our world are many. As good citizens, we are bound to live up to the laws and guidelines which unite us as a civilized society. Good citizens work together to improve not only our lives, but the lives of all our fellow citizens. Good citizenship requires that we remain strong and vigilant in protecting the freedoms and rights that have been granted to us and in preventing injustice from entering our lives. We, the members of this chapter, are called to live up to the high standards of citizenship from this day forward. In the words of Jordan B. Hinckley, every good citizen adds to the strength of a nation. Now, please welcome our principal, Mrs. Jana Mason, who will offer congratulatory remarks to the new members. Good evening, everyone. I would like to begin by congratulating all of you on this amazing accomplishment of being inducted into the National Junior Honor Society. We know at a minimum that it means to maintain an exemplary grade point average that is required for admission and commitment to academic success. And while, as a society, we always place a strong emphasis on academic performance, as a National Honor Society member, you are the leaders of your class and represent the very best of our school. However, the challenge I present to you is not one that you will necessarily face today, but rather in many points throughout your life. As you travel down your own road, my hope and belief is that each and every one of you will always lean on the values, ethics, and character that you have developed here at Lux Middle School and throughout your entire state level education. As you are faced with difficult choices throughout your life, just remember that you have the necessary foundation and support system that will help you achieve your goal. In closing, always remember that induction to the National Honor Society is just the beginning, not the end. You are well on your way to making wonderful contributions to our world, as, and you are well on your way of leaving a legacy that will carry on for future students. Congratulations to all of you, Please continue to make your school proud, your teachers proud, your parents, extended family, and most importantly, make yourself proud. This is a wonderful accomplishment. You all should be very, very proud.
Thank you, Mrs. Mason, for your comments and continued support of the chapter here at Boston Middle School. We would also like to thank our advisor, Mrs. O'Well, for her time and effort in continuing to develop the Boston Middle School chapter of the National Junior Honor Society into a prestigious organization at our school. We'd also like to thank the staff members of the faculty council who have the honor of selecting our members. Thank you for all attending the National Junior Honor Society induction ceremony.